Hey y'all, Dr. Tannen here. I wanted to talk to you about my most important tip for my fitness buffs after um, breast implants under the muscle. The most important tip I have to share with you is to stop doing isolated pec work. All of the, you know, chest press and chest fly that's in um, workouts that you can find or in some of these different gyms really come from the male aesthetic, which is a really nice pec muscle. For women, a female and feminine aesthetic are breasts. And if you have breast implants that are under the muscle, you could be damaging your overall long-term result by continuing to do isolated pec work. What do I mean? Every time your pec muscle contracts, it's like sitting right here, every time it contracts, it pushes the implant out to the side because it's pushing the muscle against your chest, which displaces or pushes that breast implant off to the side. Over time, your implant will just start to sit off to the side and you don't want that. Um, that's not where it was intended to be. It was intended to be more central. So how do we avoid that? You stop doing isolated pec work after you have implants. It's something I recommend you do forever. Like I recommend you not go back to doing pec work. Now I've had people say, well, can I do burpees? Can I do push-ups? You can always do burpees um, and push-ups. You just have to make sure that you really try and do a tricep stance instead of that pectoralis stand. So instead of having like when you're doing your, you can see here, you don't want wide, you don't want your arms wide for your push-ups and your burpees. You really wanna have them down low so that you're really engaging your triceps. Um, that's one way to protect your pec when you're doing this, um, as well as engaging your core. Like if you're doing those full body type workouts properly, it's not all your pec. Um, you're using multiple muscle groups. Um, and so that balance effect makes it a much better option. Um, follow us for more tips.